So before I start this, I do want to give a trigger warning. This does involve sexual harassment, false allegations, and brief mentions of CP. Um, If you are uncomfortable with any of these topics, I do recommend uh, stepping away from this video or this part. I don't know if Slug is putting this in his video or if he's going to be putting this as a separate thing. So either way, either skip to a specific timestamp or you can go away from the video and there is a TLDR on, in my Twitter. So for those of you who do not know, my name is Emmy on or my real name is Emily because I don't try to hide it because my nickname is literally a combination of my first name and my favorite anime character's name. Um, some of you may also know me as Slug Mother, Slug Queen, Slug Simp. Uh, I know my own reputation. But, uh, this isn't about this. This is about me being dragged into drama that I specifically asked not to be a part of. So, for those of you who don't know, I was a very good friend of Slug's. Um, and... I uh, received pretty gross tweets from him. And yeah, okay, I'll agree. They were kind of gross. They went a little too far. But because Slug and I are both adults, I confronted him in private because I didn't see it worth being public about it. I told him, hey, this makes me uncomfortable. Stop. Slug, respecting my boundaries, stopped. So once the CP allegations against Slug came out, I backed away and I told multiple people and multiple servers that I did not want to be approached about the drama. Um, in a specific voice chat in a group that I was in briefly, I mentioned that I did not consider these tweets that I'm talking about to be sexual harassment because when I told him to stop, he did stop. Now I understand if people are like, oh, well, you told him to stop when he was tweeting. I understand that uh, some people do not understand being serious or being playful in text because sometimes people cannot process tone in text. I am one of these people that I cannot some I sometimes can't process what somebody means in text. So I understand where you're coming from on that argument, but hear me out. I said that I did not consider what Slug was doing sexual harassment because he stopped when I told him to stop. If he had continued, then yes, I would have considered that sexual harassment, but I honestly would not have seen it to be worth it contacting his university. If somebody else wanted to contact his university about anything else, that's that's between you and Slug. But... Um, despite me saying that I did not consider it to be sexual harassment, somebody still went ahead and contacted Slug's university and emailed them on my behalf saying that Slug was sexually harassing me. First of all, you did not have my permission to do this. Second of all, that was a false claim of someone sexually harassing another person, which I do not take lightly for a very good reason. I feel like I was very prompt when I told the servers I was in that I did not wish to be approached about the drama, I did not want to be involved in drama, and I also stated very promptly that I did not consider what Slug was doing sexual harassment, which should have been the end of it. Yet, here we are. So this is a PSA for everyone. Do not make allegations, false or not, on someone's behalf without their knowledge. Not only is that disrespectful, but it can negatively impact the person that you are making these allegations on behalf of. To this person who made these allegations on my behalf, I don't know if you had good intentions or not, but when someone says that they were not sexually harassed, then it's safe to say that they were not sexually harassed. You dragged me into this drama without my consent. Thanks. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk and have a wonderful day, guys.